Hi. Welcome. All right. So it is Thursday. Um, what I'm going to talk to you about today is an assignment that I want you to do that's going to go along with chapter four, which you're supposed to have read for today. Um, so a big thing in chapter four is that um, Lenny talks with crooks. And it's like the first time that we really meet crooks. We've heard about him a few times, but that's kind of the first time uh, where we got to hear him talk. And uh, we, we heard a lot about how his situation was sort of different than everyone else's. Like, even though a lot of other people don't have someone, crooks is you know, truly sort of by himself. And he, and he kind of talks about that. Uh, and we see sort of how things just affect him a little bit differently there, right? So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a little reading practice, right? So the article that I have pulled up here um, is uh, an article that's going to be talking about loneliness, all right? Uh, kind of relating to Crooks's situation uh, in the book and kind of just universally too. So um, similar to uh, other readings that we've done, we did the ones about love and lust with Romeo and Juliet. We've done the... Um, obviously the reading kits, which we'll continue doing. Um, for this one, I'm going to kind of break it down. Uh, so this will be kind of your goal to be able to work on over the next two days. Um, I'm going to ask you to read through uh, read through the different uh, sections of the article. There's four sections. I have them labeled um, right there on the side, section one, section two, section three, and then section four is the longer one that has bulleted list there, right? So you're going to read through it. I want you to do uh, a couple different things with this. First thing that you're going to do is you're going to be creating an annotation, right? So basically you're reading through the article. I want you to read through it without thinking about anything else other than what are some things that maybe stand out to you? Maybe it's something that just clicks and makes sense. Uh, maybe it's something that you're really not sure what they're talking about, or you're surprised that they would describe it that way. Maybe it's something that you disagree with, um, whatever, uh, whatever sort of stands out to you. So you're going to look for, uh, I want to see that you're actively thinking about what you're reading here, right? So I'm going to ask you to read through the passage and look for main ideas and then comment on those identified ideas, uh, sort of explain why you picked them. So if I'm going through here, and for example, maybe I'm like, uh, where it says psychologists find that human beings have fundamental need for inclusion in group life and for close relationships. Maybe that's going to be something I'm like, all right, that seems to speak to me a little bit. I'm just going to click that right over here. And I'm going to add my comment, whatever it is, right? You know, and then I would put it there and that's going to be kind of locked in, right? Um, now, I don't want to leave that on there because then you'll all be seeing that. That would be sort of weird. So we're going to resolve that. But that's how you would do that first part. Second part says uh, you're going to make connections to either yourself or just the world in general. Um, for these, you're going to underline them, right? So kind of like help differentiate between those and the annotations. And so um, like here, maybe it says uh, in children, uh, loneliness leads to all kinds of problems, right? Um, maybe that could be something where I'm like, all right, you know, like maybe when I was younger, uh, I had you know, like when, maybe when I didn't have a lot of friends or something like that, or I was just, you know, lonely times during summer, uh, maybe I got into a little mischief, right? So maybe I would say, uh, again, making that explain, explain how that relates to me or to the world in general, right? So I would do that. But the underline would help me know that that is the second reading step and not just the general annotation, right? And then you would click comment again there as well. And then the last part uh, that you're going to do for the reading. So I would suggest you trying to do these readings um, like as sort of like your homework for Friday. Um, the last one that you're going to do is you're going to look for examples of, of mice and men. Uh, so where it connects to of mice and men. So probably specifically like any of the characters, like if you look at Curly's wife or Crooks or, or you know, like if it talks about like people who aren't, maybe it's only maybe you look at George and Lenny. But so again, for those, then you see that, that I ask you to highlight the examples. I don't care what color you use to highlight. You can highlight to your heart's content, whatever color you want. So in other words, we are built for social contact. So I'm gonna just go up here, click highlight. I always like this light blue one. Um, you won't get extra points if you use that, but I'm just letting you know that. Um, so in other words, we're built for social contact. And then I'm gonna explain how that relates to over mice and men. So I might say something about how, uh, you know, George and Lenny are a good example where um, they, even if at times their relationship gets strained, like they still really appreciate having each other, right? And I'm gonna make that, that comment there. Um, so we're going to undo that so you don't have a random thing highlighted. There we go. Then um, to kind of complete the assignment and get it submitted by the end of the day, Friday, uh, I'm going to ask you just to reflect uh, how, according to the article, does loneliness affect a character, any character in Of Mice and Men? So how do we see loneliness having uh, a, some sort of impact on how that character behaves, how that character feels, um, you know, in what ways? And so you would do a claim evidence reason or claim quote commentary with that in this reflection box right here, right? So I you could just take that out and start, you know, whoever you're, I think loneliness affects, you know, the boss. I don't think you'd pick that, but that's just a general example I picked. And then I would have my evidence. So what from the text is sort of like letting me know that. And then I'd explain it. Right. 
So that's sort of your task for the next two days. You're going to read through this. We're going to take a little break. We'll get to chapters five and six early next week. Um, but you're going to go through this and just kind of read about loneliness and then try to like relate it to our world um, and relate it to uh, like the characters in the book. And then we will uh, kind of talk about that and touch on that next week uh, as we approach the end of the book. Um, as always, if there are any questions, um, email me. Uh, you can send me messages, uh, you know, through various different uh, resources. Um, I will also post when I'm going to have like live office hours. Like I'll, I'll have my office hours as posted before, but uh, there will be a couple times where I'm going to be, you know, having those, I'll, I'll put Google meet link where you can come there too. Like if you have questions about the reading or just want to touch base, or you just want to say hi and actually, uh, you know, just kind of see uh, people on the video chat. I'll kind of have like a set time that I'll let you all know that. So you can kind of look for that if you have questions. Um, otherwise uh, that about does it, you know, good luck with the work and, you know, just keep up, keep on doing what, uh, the best that you can. Okay. All right. Talk to you later.